CLD and CXD amplifiers have a useful and unique multi-channel platform, and the key to controlling and manipulating channels into various configurations is right here on the front panel. So let's take a look at how to navigate the front user interface. From left to right, you'll see the power button, input and output interfaces, the display screen, navigation buttons, and the master wheel. The power button has more functionality than you may think. If you want to shut the amplifier down to standby mode, hold the power button down for a few seconds and release. However, if you want to keep access to the front panel in DSP, you can simply tap the power button. Its light will blink red to let you know that the amplifier itself has been turned off, but you still have access to the configuration tools. This is an effective way to quickly mute all channels simultaneously while letting you do some troubleshooting. If you want to completely cut power to the unit, you can use the power switch located on the rear panel. Inputs are shown at the bottom as inputs 1 through 4, and outputs at the top as outputs A through D. The LEDs indicate the current signal, so if you had all your outputs using input 1 as a source, then you would see input 1's LED active, as well as all the outputs. Each channel has a mute button at the top of it, and if any of your outputs are combined together, then their mute buttons would be linked as well, and each of their buttons would illuminate when any one was pressed. The select button will be used to specify a channel while working in the main user interface, which you can navigate around using these four buttons and the master wheel. The top button, Home, takes you to this basic display screen that shows the configuration of your channels, as well as the status information such as the voltage, current, and amp status. If your amplifier was suffering from a thermal error, for instance, that would be displayed right here. If you select the home button a second time, it will take you to a secondary home screen that displays how your inputs are routed to your outputs. To access the menu options, you can either press the enter button, or you could simply start rotating the wheel, which will take you to the four different sections. Presets, inputs, outputs, and utilities. To select a section, simply press the enter button. You can always return to the home at any time with the home button. Since the most common functions to be accessed is gain adjustments, you can jump to a channel's output gain at any time by pressing the gain button. At its base, this is an amplifier first, so this button will always give you quick access to adjusting your channel's gains. You can select different channels by using their select buttons here, and then adjust their gain using the master wheel, ranging from negative 100 decibels to 20 decibels. These adjustments are done in real time and effective immediately. When you're done, you can press the enter or gain button to return to the screen that you were previously on. Thanks for watching.